From Pirates of the Caribbean to Marvel to the one that started it all, Disney is enjoying a company-wide renaissance. But when you have so many great properties, how do you juggle them all without dropping any? Case in point, Phineas and Ferb. Thanks to a sneak peek right after High School Musical 2, when Phineas and Ferb officially debuted on the Disney Channel a year later, it was an instant hit. And while Disney was quick to get out merchandising and video games, many people outside the studio began to comment that Disney was missing a real opportunity in the feature film market. Why hadn't Disney taken Phineas and Ferb to the big screen? Well, while there's been no official explanation, there's certainly speculation. On the one hand, for the last few years, Disney's been concentrating on trying to improve their appeal to the male demographic, young and old, basically the non-dads. Hence the purchase of Marvel, the proliferation of pirate movies, and the attempted relaunch of Tron with Tron Legacy. So to some degree, they may have taken Phineas and Ferb for granted. There's also the theory that they didn't quite know how to transition the show to the silver screen. It's a 2D animated show, and 2D animated movies just don't gross anymore. Why take an unnecessary risk by potentially releasing a flop that could damage the cash platypus? But as Phineas and Ferb have become more and more successful, I'm sure you've seen this shirt around town, it's become clear that TV can simply no longer contain them. Disney has begun slowly incorporating Phineas and Ferb into their theme parks, and in August 2011, they aired Phineas and Ferb's very first TV movie, Across the Second Dimension in Fabulous 2D. It was a huge success, one of the highest rated cable programs in years, and only made Disney more eager to get Phineas and Ferb to the big screen. So, on July 26, 2013, the Phineas and Ferb movie will finally hit theaters. What should you expect? Well, even Disney still doesn't know. Series creators Dan Povenmire and Jeff Swampy Marsh have written a script, but Michael Arndt, who wrote Little Miss Sunshine and Toy Story 3, has just been brought on for a rewrite. Disney is also intent on bringing live action into the mix, with the show's animated stars interacting with real actors. Real actors who could potentially serve as a draw for adult audiences. So, will Phineas and Ferb make the jump to TV with the same success as High School Musical or The Simpsons? Or has Disney's window of opportunity passed? And how do you feel that Disney moved Thor 2 back to November 2013 to make room for Phineas and Ferb? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.